Hey folks, I'm Jen Foxpot. Welcome to Maker Quest. In this episode, I'm going to give you an overview on how to start low cost prototyping. So, first of all, if you have access to a laptop or a smartphone, that'll give you access to a huge number of free software programs that you can use to start making your ideas into physical objects. So, first of all, let's start with printed circuit boards. Printed circuit boards, or PCBs for short, are a way for you to cut down on wires um, since it uses these copper traces on this board to connect your components directly. So it makes prototyping a lot faster and simpler and neater. There are lots of different software programs that you can use uh, to generate your own PCB designs. One of my favorites is upverter.com. So basically upverter allows you to take uh, your idea and generate a schematic for your electrical circuit. What is awesome about Upverter also is that if they don't have a part within their library that you're trying to add to your schematic, you can request them to make it for you. And that request actually goes to a person, so then the person will generate it for you. Um, once you have your schematic created, you can send those files to a PCB manufacturer. For example, in the US we have Oshpark, which is awesome. It's like $5 for a square inch. It's uh, very affordable. Or you can also do etching. To do etching, uh, you can either go to a local makerspace and use a laser etcher like this one was done, um, or you can also do PCB etching at home. There are lots of different ways to do this. Uh, a lot of it kind of depends on how involved you want to be, um, whether you want to use caustic chemicals, and how accurate you want it to be. So just look up different tutorials on how to do PCB etching at home and find a method that suits your needs. Okay, so to make other types of physical objects that don't involve electronics, you use a CAD program, which stands for Computer Aided Design. So one of the free programs that you can use is Onshape, and here on this Chromebook, I have an example that they give you, uh, which is a motor that somebody designed on the website. And there's lots of samples and open source uh, designs that you can import to your computer and just start uh, using those. So to, um, uh oh, lights. Wait, turn the lights back on. Really quick. Oh. Motion? No, 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 it's the... Oh, the timer? Oh. Haha, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, with your computer-aided design, to make it into a physical object, you can use 3D printers, a laser cutter, or a CNC machine, which stands for Computer Numeric Control. If you have access to a local makerspace, you can go to that space and use the tools that they have there. So I'll leave it there for now. Please let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe.